Hi, hello, and welcome to today's video. You guys, this is my first official sit down video in the new house. It couldn't be a more perfect one. We are talking all things food today. I feel like I found a lot of new foods and snacks that are vegan, gluten free, and pretty freaking good. So I'm so excited to share them with you guys. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I will talk about um, where I got everything from, but most of the stuff comes from Sprouts, um, Trader Joe's and Ralph's. So those are like the top three. Um, hopefully you guys have them where you are. If not, talk about some other like websites and things like that that you might be able to find these items on. But nevertheless, welcome. I'm excited. I feel like I'm I'm getting into the routine of things and it feels really good. It always takes a little bit of time to get used to a new place and for me, I don't like change so I feel like it takes me even longer but I have had no issues with this house. Like, I'm so in love with it. I cannot wait to do a full house tour once everything is decorated. If you guys hear bird noises, um, my bedroom actually looks out to the backyard and these birds are savage. They start at 5 a.m. and they don't stop for the entire day. Okay, so the first thing, and probably the one I'm like most excited for, is this vegan and gluten-free pizza. I'm actually gonna talk about two different brands. The first one is by Chloe. The crust is made out of cauliflower, and my favorite part about this is that there's only two servings in this pizza. Because I feel like a lot of the times, pizza comes in four servings, and you can't have one fourth of pizza. I mean, come on. This is more realistic in my opinion. And the first ingredients are, cauliflower, water, broccoli, carrots, cabbage, and kale. So you know you're eating good stuff. It's again, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, egg-free, non-GMO. I mean, it's everything you could possibly ask for. And it actually tastes good. You cannot tell that it tastes like cauliflower. And I know that it's good. I know that it's good because I actually had a housewarming gathering and people who weren't vegan, people who actually eat normal pizza liked this. So. I feel strongly by recommending this to you. Um, I found it at Sprouts. I'm not sure if you can order this online, but I will do my research. And if you can, then I'll put a link in the description bar for you guys because you gotta try this. And they also have different options. Like there's margarita and then there was like a three cheese pizza. I just really like the Mediterranean one because I love artichoke and olives. All right, next is also pizza. It's by Daya and I'm sure you guys have heard of them because they make like vegan cheeses. This pizza is phenomenal. It's dairy, soy, and gluten-free. I don't know what happened because I've never been like huge on pizza. Don't get me wrong. I like pizza because how can you not like pizza? But it's never been something that I craved. Now, I crave it all the time because I tried these ones randomly and here we are. So. I think you can also find this at Whole Foods. I'm sure that the Dio website has one as well. So again, I'll try and link everything that I can find in the description bar for you guys. All right, next. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, then I'm sure you've seen these on my channel before in like a bunch of Mondays. But these are the Dr. Prager's Black Bean Quinoa Veggie Burgers. They are so good, especially my tip if you have an air fryer just do yourself a favor. It tastes so much better in the air fryer because it makes the outside like super crispy. I used to have it all the time with Dave's Killer Bread, avocado, tomato, sun-dried tomatoes. Makes such a good burger or like a sandwich. Um, you could even have it with eggs in the morning. I did find it at Sprouts again. There's a Sprouts like right down the street by my house, so I feel like that's gonna be my new place. There's also Trader Joe's. Sprouts is a little more expensive and Trader Joe's been just like an OG in my life. So obviously um, I will still be going to Trader Joe's, but if I want any kind of like specialty items. All right, so these right here are a very, very recent find. I'm talking like this week, <laughs> but I had to include them in this video because I swear when I tried this, like you guys should have seen my face. I was mind blown. These are the Siete. I wanna say that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure. Uh, Grain-free tortilla chips. I don't know how they nailed like the most perfect nacho flavor, but they did. Let me tell you, they did. It's made with 100% avocado oil, and the first ingredient is cassava flour, coconut flour, avocado oil, nutritional yeast, tomato powder, chia seeds. Like just literally the most wholesome ingredients, and it tastes bomb. I wanna say that you might be able to find these on Thrive Market, don't quote me on it, but I will try to find it for you guys. And again, leave it in the description bar if I can. If not, sprouts. You've definitely seen me eat banana chips, plantain chips, all of that. Big, big fan. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this specific brand and the flavor, sea salt and vinegar. So damn good. I love sea salt and vinegar. I think that's like my favorite chip flavor. And I don't like it when it's just very, very light, like you can barely taste it. You can taste it on here. 
one of my all-time favorite snacks um, is seaweed. Love it. Just wanted to quickly mention this one. It's in the flavor teriyaki and I can't stop eating it. I honestly have like at least one a day, but for the most part I have like two a day. Um, this goes so good with some smoked salmon or like tuna, with anything, avocado. It's just, possibilities are endless. It's so good and it's great for you. My final like salty thing, this is not really a snack or anything, but um, I think that this is the absolute best vegan butter as far as ingredients and taste together. I used to use Earth Balance um, actually up until very recently, but then I did a little bit of research and I don't think the ingredients are as good as this brand. Um, the first one in here is just organic coconut oil and and then water, sunflower oil, cashews, sea salt, and cultures. It definitely melts and tastes exactly like butter, so highly recommend this if you're looking for a good vegan uh, butter alternative. Next, we got a new Booch flavor. I've only been seeing these recently, so maybe I'm late to the show, but this is the Guava Goodness. I also think that Synergy is the best brand in my, thank you, thank you for that, cat. It's the best brand in my opinion. So the last two things I wanna talk about, some dessert options. Again, if you guys have been <laughs> subscribed for a while, then you know I like to end off my night on something sweet. And usually when it's cold outside, go for oatmeal and I'll just put like chocolate chips and peanut butter and honey and dress it up and everything and anything. Um, but now that it's hot, and I'm talking hot today, it's like 92 degrees outside. I can't do oatmeal. I can't do like hot oatmeal. It just doesn't even sound good anymore. So I've switched over to acai and I've tried a few different brands that kind of make it in like an ice cream, um, what is this? Container? Not container. Ice cream tub. A small baby tub like this. Anyway, I found this one at Whole Foods. It's by Acai Roots. I think it's my favorite one. I highly recommend it. Sambazan also makes really good ones. A lot of them taste pretty the same, but I just, there's something in here that is just extra good. All right, and my final thing, I had to end with Trader Joe's because I just want you guys to know that I still love Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's and I are still tight. This is just their dark chocolate. It's so good. My friends actually uh, brought it over to my house recently and reminded me how good it is. So yeah, those are all the new vegan and gluten-free foods and snacks that I recently discovered. Um, I'm so excited to finally be getting in the groove of things. Hopefully I can get back to my schedule, which is Mondays and Thursdays for uploads. Um, if you guys have any ideas, any suggestions of anything that you wanna see, as always, comment below. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one.